Yeah, ton of new players in Dark and Darker complaining that gear is too powerful. They say that they go in with gear kits and can't get out, and that people that are highly geared just run all over them. And I think that's the whole point of an extraction looter game like this. The point is to grind and get yourself some gold and get yourself some good gear so you can go in there and compete with higher geared players you know, kill the mobs, do some boss fights. Just because you're in great gear and just so happen to be a casualty of somebody that's good doesn't mean the game is unbalanced. You have just as much as a chance as they do of getting out. There's the same amount of portals for everyone, the same amount of time. Just because you're in great gear don't mean you have to push PVP. I'm going to start a few games here and just prove a point that you can go in with great gear, base kit, no heals other than the one bandage that I start with and we'll see how long it takes to make a successful portal run in the solo goblin caves. Let's start it up. Here we go, one run, one death. Ran into a guy. We spectate him, he's in full graze with a falchion and a double axe. Not super geared. We just lost the fight to a falchion. There's nothing, nothing we can do there. We'll go in for run number two. Just hop right back in, change nothing. Completely naked run. Pretty decent spawn for loot right here. Kill these two mummies first and then kill the the shaman that's on the other side. This mummy grab the protection and we'll take care of the stuff around the corner. Nice necklace. Plus strength and resourcefulness. Now what you want to do is bait these two goblins one at a time. Oh, they're not even... And then get the shaman if you can. You want to bait them first, though, because that shaman hits you with that. It slows you down. We'll 
So we'll get the shaman. to make it out on this run we're getting some decent gear to sell even though those rogues man the warlocks are cheap it really usually won't sell that quick Push into that champion's room, so I'm gonna go back. I'm not going back that way as a player. We don't know what that player is. A rogue. If he wants to be friendly, I don't think he does, but. people are friendly you just let them be friendly you don't have to fight pvp every time just go your separate way don't follow them don't stick around them let them act friendly and then just walk away you do not have to push every pvp fight and i think that's where a lot of people get starter gear mixed up especially in the goblin caves I mean, sure, PvP is a big part of it, and sometimes you're just going to get pushed, but if you're just starting off and you know you have great gear and you're struggling, try to be friendly first, and then if, they, if they're not friendly, you know, act accordingly, but you can set yourself up to make it out. This time I have nothing to lose. I could have easily fought that guy and been okay, but I found some decent gear. I could make a couple hundred gold this run. Why not try to be friendly and make it out? I missed. We gotta figure out how we want to get around this stupid champion. That rogue that we were friendly with is down there getting fought by those damn beetles. You gotta have awareness. See, there's a, a rogue or a fighter or a barbarian or something down there in the... Uh, The shaman room right there in front of me. And then if you look, we get a portal. Somewhere very close by. I heard it, but I don't see it yet. Okay, that somebody up above took it. So just like that, we've seen a total of three people. Haven't had to engage any of them just yet. We haven't taken any mo damage from the mobs. Play smart, and you can make it out. A little bit better of an armor sword there. Not much, but some. Now from here, we know one person left, and one, two, three, four, five people have died. So that's six out of ten. Including myself, I would be seven. So there's three people alive. I know one of them is underneath me. There was a rogue to my left, so that leaves one guy unaccounted for. Just pay attention to your surroundings, people, and you can probably make it out. From here on the edge, I should get a portal either to my left or in front of me somewhere as soon as this next zone closes. And we'll make it out with this little bit of loot. 
you wanted to test the waters even more, you could go kill those two guys and loot loot up there, but those and there's the portal that I said that was spawned in front of me somewhere. But now we just look for it. There's this barbarian, he's screaming at something. Barbarian there fighting a rogue, they drop down. So that's two out of the three people there that you don't just have to push. Now, if you wanted to push this fight, you know more than likely those guys will be hurt. That's a wizard, actually. But is it necessary? It's not. Because we still can't see the portal. It's here. I just haven't seen it. And he still didn't kill that barbarian? This is going to be tricky because... Oh, there's the portal. The barbarian took it, so that leaves... Me and the wizard and possibly one more person. I knew it was down there. So this is where it gets tricky when you get down here acting friendly. Now you might have to fight. I got a ranger ahead of above me trying to fight. You might have to fight your way out here. That ranger sucks. Last portal, you're forced to fight here. Not much else you can do. <clears throat> Missing my block. Ah, a goblin warrior was behind me. Two raids down. It's hard to be friendly at the uh, at the end there. Run it back. Got lucky on that one. I didn't realize he was going to swing twice. And we're both missing. 
Oh, that didn't get me. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Round three, one and done, you see, because I pushed PvP and I didn't have to. I knew the guy was there. I didn't know what he was. I didn't have to push, and I lost that fight just because I was missing my swings, not playing defense, and he was hitting his shots. The mace does about the same amount of base damage as my arming sword does. Somewhere between 22 and 23. Stuck on a friggin' wall. Oh, great. This is gonna be a wash. With no use. This is bad. as I cannot take much damage for the rest of the raid or if I could find some heals it's gonna be the only way I survive here people's died so far but there's another chest over here four people been through here they probably spawned here This wizard's intentions are, but you can never be <coughs> not alert. Lightning hurts, dude. What 
probably didn't kill himself with that, to be honest with you. I don't know how he didn't kill himself with that fireball. Spot around that corner right there, you're just asking to get hurt by the archer and the one that throws the chain, so I avoid it. It's a good spot, but it's very, very hard. <laughs> Horseman's act should sell pretty easily. is how you block an archer. This plate opens that to the left. Two max health, I think that's better than ah, uh, but it gives one strength. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the strength over the health. Uh, I would be a spider in there. Oh, fuck you. <clears throat> Fucker didn't die. Something else in here. Cultist boots. Warlocks just don't buy much stuff. Or the mimic counter.
possibility we could see a portal here. I'm kind of just waiting it out. Three people have died. <clears throat> Four people have died. This same dude has killed three people. The falchion. The falchion right now is pretty powerful. I feel like even the gray ones just two tap basic armor, but they do like thirty four damage on the first swing, and I'm not sure how much on the second swing. So you got to expect a rogue and other smaller characters have like what seventy or eighty health. That's that's literally all of their health in two swings. I have a hundred base health and even... So for the sake of the video, one, two, three, four, five, six people have died. This is my fifth run coming in as straight up basic gear. And we made it out. We didn't see any PvP this time. There was one raid where we did see PvP. Early on, there was one raid where I acted friendly until the end, and then it just came down to fighting for the portal. It happens. And then you will catch some raids where you don't see any people at all which is fine if you don't want to pvp if you just want to make it out in gray gear it's fine even in one in five runs 10 20 30 40 50 gold ended up with a shield two pair of gloves a pair of pants a pair of boots and a green horseman's axe will probably sell for 50 and these boots you can expect to sell anywhere from 30 to 50 so you're talking 10 20 30 40 50 gold plus another 50 or 100 to sell so it's still a hundred hundred gold run and we chose to leave so if you guys think going in against gray geared and running into geared people is ruining the game i totally disagree you can go in with gray gear expect to get out once in every three to five raids you can play the goblin caves try to be friendly there are friendly players if you run into pvp pick and choose your battles i chose some battles in this one that i thought i could win and i just missed my shots i've lost some battles against some falchions they're just stronger than the arming sword it's it's all part of the game. You got to know what you're going up against. Pick and choose the fights you think you can win and just try to get to the end. It's It don't have to be straight up PvP every single time. Do this and you'll make it out more. I, to me, one in five as a naked person going in with full grays and nothing else is not that bad. 